Alright, hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is unit conversions, and we're going to be converting degrees to radians. So, if you would, pause the video and see if you can try and do this on your own. Alright, when you're doing unit conversions, the first thing you want to do is always put the number, write down the number that you have. Now what you're going to be doing next is multiplying it by a creative 1. Because that's what you did when you have equivalent fractions. You don't want to change the value of it, but you just want to change the way it looked. So what you're going to be doing is when you multiply it by this 1 over here, and remember, it's 1 like 3 over 3, but since you're doing unit conversions, it's this equals this. So it's the same thing, just different units. So we want radians. So what we want is going to go in the numerator. So that's going to be pi in radians. Now what is the same as pi? Uh, very good. It's 180 degrees. And whatever we want to cancel out, what you do is you put it in the denominator. So then you start canceling things out. What number goes into both 15 and 180. Yeah, 15, right? You could have said 3. That would be true. Let's do that. 3 goes into 15 how many times? 5. How many times does 3 go into 180? 60 times. 3 is not there. Then what number goes in both 5 and 60? That's right, 5. 5 goes in the 5 once. 5 goes in the 60 12 times. So let me rewrite that. So I have 1 times pi radians over 12. And so when I multiply that, and I multiply across, that's going to give me what? Right. It's going to give me pi over 12. And that's, that's it. And that's in radians. So let me put that. Radians. That's it.